Meghan Markle and Prince Harry returned to the spotlight at the 2024 SB Awards on Thursday, July 11, but the duo attempted to avoid the red carpet. However, the pair was photographed alongside longtime friend and SB's host Serena Williams. The tennis champion was able to joke about the Sussex's high-profile status during her monologue. But please Harry and Meghan, try not to breathe too much tonight because this is my night, and I don't want to be overshadowed by the accusations you guys are taking up too much oxygen, Williams quipped as the Sussexes giggled in their seats. The Sussexes attended the event because Harry received the Pat Tillman Award for service, but Tillman's mother, Mary, and other sports fans were critical of ESPN's decision. Despite Mary's disapproval, Harry honored her in his acceptance speech. I'd like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation, led by Marie Tillman Shenton, who I'm so honored is here tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family, especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother, Harry said. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between a mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses, he noted. OK previously reported Mary isn't affiliated with the Pat Tillman Foundation, but she shared she was disappointed with ESPN honoring Harry. I am shocked as to why they would select such a controversial and divisive individual to receive the award, Mary admitted. There are recipients that are far more fitting. There are individuals working in the veteran community that are doing tremendous things to assist veterans, she continued. These individuals do not have the money, resources, connections or privilege that Prince Harry has. I feel that those types of individuals should be recognized. Aside from the backlash, Harry centered the accomplishments of the Invictus Games during his oration. I stand here not as Prince Harry, Pat Tillman Award recipient, but rather a voice on behalf of the Invictus Games Foundation and the thousands of veterans and service personnel from over 20 nations who have made the Invictus Games a reality, the Duke of Sussex noted. Despite the pushback, ESPN defended their choice. ESPN, with the support of the Tillman Foundation, is honoring Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, specifically for the work of the Invictus Games Foundation as it celebrates its 10th year promoting healing through the power of sport for military service members and veterans around the world, ESPN shared in a statement to OK. While we understand not everyone will agree with all honorees selected for any award, the Invictus Games Foundation does incredible work and ESPN believes this is a cause worth celebrating. 